Hi, hi, it's QSA. What's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be at your host for some gaming news. I wanted to try out for this um, video gaming news, maybe weekly upload. I'm not sure, uh, but I want to try this out because I have some news, exciting news for you guys. I want you to hear. First off, Skyrim. Everybody knows that game. That's like one of one of the oldest game you played and one of the RPGs like which uh, it was amazing, was fun. And you know, but Bethesda always like made a new Skyrim all day and now they haven't done it for a long time. But something we're missing is multiplayer. And it used to be a mod called Skyrim Together before and that you made so you could work uh, play together but i think it got shut down or like they had to remove it because of uh, some copy strike or some claims i'm not sure but it's gonna anyway a mod called skyrim together reborn is gonna be released this week on friday at 6 p.m central bureau time and it's gonna be amazing because it's gonna be like that mod but better a lot better, more bug free before when I buy the mod like three years ago, two years ago. Uh, you have like disconnection, uh, quests didn't work together, or like, uh, and you could like pause your character and you would get like stuck, but the other players could move, but they couldn't like hurt you because your character were paused. Or so. it was it was a mess. Uh, but they have said that this version or like this this is a full release this is not a beta mod this is not like an alpha this is a full release 1.0 version of the mod is gonna be released and they said it gonna be working like uh, it gonna be synchronized with all the players the host should do the npc quest progression talking they said uh, but otherwise than that then it's like no is there a free limit like you can't pause anymore when you take up your food inventory or like pressing escape and it's hopefully it's not gonna be bug free they said but it's gonna feel a lot more smoother and uh, so i'm gonna be excited for that uh, but they also said it's not gonna work with skyrim vr and any uh, skyrim version that's older than 1.6 on uh, special edition uh, they also said that sh you shouldn't play with other mods, mods with uh, the Skyrim Together mod, but you absolutely can play with other mods, but then you have to test yourself forward or wait a couple of months and people will have figured out which mods are compatible with Skyrim Together Reborn. And for the next we have Diablo Immortal. Yeah, I know you guys are tired of hearing of Diablo Immortal. I'm not here to talk about my opinions or what I think of the game. I already made a video for that a long time ago when I played that game. I'm just here to release some news. And the news are the Diablo is a successful game because Blizzard is making a lot of money on Diablo Immortal at the moment. And Blizzard is earning more than $1 million from Diablo Immortal each day. And since the game has been out for one month now, uh, we know from the first 10 days, they earned $2.4 million from um, Diablo Immortal each day. And total, they have made around $50 million. And if we compare it to Diablo 3, and Diablo 3 made $112 from the first year. And then we compare it to Diablo Immortal, they have made $50 million in one month so Diablo Mortal is predicted to do a lot a lot better than Diablo 3 however some interested parties have broken down the game's monetizing schemes and concluded that Diablo's Immortal microtransactions are predatory by design and this is a fact it also have come up some dispute that the Diablo Immortal used game testers in the early stages of the game uh, to see how they could stop players from progressing in their game. Because we have heard from many alpha testers that the game used to be a lot better, more Diablo-like and more fun and not pay to win as it is now. And now for some sad news, people. 
the popular streaming content creator for Minecraft, Technoblade, which were named Alex, recently passed away after battling a four-stage cancer for nearly a year. Many of his friends, fans, and other creators have shared their condolences and will always remember him as the Minecraft King. His father made a YouTube video with Alex's last speech after his passing. I'm gonna link the video in the description. However, I have to warn you, it will be emotional. Um, Minecraft made a tweet about his passing and they have made a tribute by changing the launcher image on Minecraft. So the pig has his, uh, so the pig in the launcher as the Technoblade's crown. And now for some news for your VR fans. The game Once Alliance is praised to be the best shooter on Quest 2. It's only available for Quest 2 Oculus, but it's a previous free FPS shooter game with a high skill cap. It has new and interesting mechanics, and if you're not into traditional shooter games, but still craving for some PvP action, this is the game for you. They say it's a mix between Harry Potter and Valorant. And I haven't forgotten about you RPG lovers. Baldur's Gate 3, which isn't out yet, but they have announced the pre-patch that's gonna be released tomorrow on Thursday, the 7th of July. And it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be 40 gigabytes, so expect a lot of changes. And as always, um, they have... Um, they have a live stream when they release where they go through all the changes that they do and they do like uh, a role playing and they dress out and last time when they had uh, there was a decapitation last time that when they had a live stream on so they can be quite fun. I like to watch them usually on live streams. And what they have said about the patch is going to be a lot of house cleaning. Uh, they have made a small tease. You can see it here. Players can now disable traps by double clicking yeah. on them if they have a trap disarmed people. That's so handy. It's, it's probably from the same guy. Yeah. And Lorian students has always delivered so far. And they are trustworthy in my opinion. And that's it guys for the news. I've been your host, Securas. I hope to stay awesome. Maybe I will do a weekly thing. Whatever I do, you guys stay awesome. And remember, hoi, hoi, hoi.